I will link my little fan down below. It's only $10. There's no excuse why any of y'all should not have one of these, okay? Hey pretties, welcome back to my channel. If you don't know me, my name is Tanya and I film all kinds of pink, girly, beauty, fashion, and lifestyle videos on this channel. So if that's something you're into, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below and push bell notifications so you don't miss any of my videos. I swear to you guys, those hand motions I do when I say that, it's like muscle memory at this point. Like, I don't even think about it to do them. I don't even think about it to say that intro either. First of all, I just want to say thank you guys so much for 300k. I literally have not even said anything on this channel that we reached 300k because my life has been so up and down, so busy lately, and I really wanted to dedicate a proper little thank you during a video. I'm going to do a giveaway for you guys here pretty soon, so make sure you follow me on Instagram, stay tuned here on my channel. I will more than likely announce it here on my channel because this is where we hit 300k. I just I can't even that. That's how I feel. I don't want to cry because I just I just did all this beautiful makeup and like I don't want to ruin it. So I'm not gonna talk anymore about that. There's gonna be a whole other video about reaching 300k, a giveaway, and all that other stuff. For today's video, we are going to be trying out a bunch of new makeup that I picked up at Ulta. Some of it I got in PR. I will tell you guys as we go. A lot of them are new launches. There are a couple of items that are not necessarily new, but they're new to me. And I'm just very excited to get going. So if you like this look, you guys are gonna wanna keep watching. As you guys know, my channel started with makeup videos. Stay true to still doing makeup videos throughout my channel because I still do love doing them and I still do love makeup. I will always forever love makeup. Even though I do do, I do do, I do do. <laughs> even though I do a lot of lifestyle content, I will never stray away from my beauty videos. I have seen your comments that you guys miss the beauty videos as well. So I wanted to make sure that the next time I put a beauty video out there, you guys are going to get top quality for the video. So now we address the elephant in the room. I do have a new camera I'm filming on. There is going to be a video on that. I did an entire unboxing. I'm going to talk to you guys all about my filming setup, show you guys my lights. Basically go into detail like of all the behind the scenes. The first thing that we're going to be trying out is a new skincare product. It is this Lancome moisturizer. It's basically gonna be like an Ulta haul slash trying stuff on slash trying new makeup slash get ready with me because I literally just got all this new makeup. It's the Hydra Zen moisturizer. It looks like this. It is actually packaged super cute. It's baby pink and I mean just Lancome skincare packaging I think is superior. If you are worried about your skin being stressed, especially all of these screens we look at all of the time and just how fast-paced life is and just with inflation and everything, I know some of us are stressed out with those gas prices, okay? To take care of our skin as much as possible from stress. So that's why I picked this up because this catered to me perfectly at the moment because I have so many things going on. Um, so I figured my skin would really love this. Inside of the cream is also baby pink. Just thought you guys might like to know. And I'm going to take some. I usually I use a little spatula because this stuff can be very um, unsanitary. Hold on. So I'm just going to take the a back of a clean little applicator. I use these applicators for client's eyeliner, but we're just going to use that to apply the cream. This literally feels so amazing. It's like a gel, watery, smooth consistency. Like my skin feels quenched, so that's good because my skin's always thirsty in this dry hot weather and I like to take this moment to just give myself a little face massage usually it just feels so good and this is such a smooth beautiful cream I mean look at what it did to my skin already I look so glowy okay so I did obviously try this on in store and that's why I know it feels amazing because I tried it on my hands but now that it's on my face my face just absorbed this so well it left a really beautiful like dewy look the product is not sitting on top this is just how my skin looks because of it next thing i want to talk about that i'm going to be using is a new brush set this is from sl miss glam this is her black glam brush set it is 15 pieces but this is a gorgeous gorgeous set for gorgeous gorgeous girls like you this is the set right here like i'm just gonna show you three brushes so you can see 
the details they have like this black glitter they have gold handles super super soft and this is what we're going to be using for our makeup today literally all the blending brushes a girl could ever need is in this set so we love love to see it look here's another one there's four prime my eyes i just used my jason woo woo prime eye eyeshadow primer this stuff is the bomb it's super inexpensive at target so all the products i'm using i'm going to leave it down below for you guys to check out for the big exciting moment we do have a new palette we're testing out today i don't know if you guys can guess which one it is i'm pretty sure you can but let me show you it's not pink but i saw this it's beautiful it's a color story i do not own I have a lot of makeup but this color story is unique to me so it came in this box right here you guys know these standard abh boxes they has a nice texture in the front just feels high-end of course the palette is this beautiful textured it looks like green like a sage linen material and then it has this cute gold little tab and here is what she looks like this is just even more stunning in person and i love abh palettes i try to always get my hands on abh palettes because they are some of my favorite eyeshadow formula i'm just gonna give y'all a quick little close-up so i'm going to start with the color floor right here and i'm going to place that all over my crease to do that i'm using the sl miss glam tapered eye bg11 and we're just gonna start working that in the crease like this is why abh shadows are some of my favorites they just go on like butter and they blend like butter i'm not gonna lie i'm an abh fan i already know i like their formula and their formulas are pretty consistent throughout their palettes i bought abh for years now and i've never really been disappointed see that blended like a dream do the other eye i feel like greens are also such flattering tones with baby pinks like especially the sage green that's kind of what drew me to the palette is i know i can put a baby pink lip with any of these shades and it'll look absolutely gorgeous so i'm gonna go ahead and deepen this up with the color metro which is this color right here and i'm using the same brush and i'm just going to kind of press it into the crease like just like kind of stamp it layered really well i don't know if you guys noticed but they layered perfectly i didn't have any trouble blending them and the truth is is i've gotten busier throughout my life recently i need products that just work and that just blend with minimal effort being the color lily and i just really want to put it on my eyes it looks like this it's like a really pretty I don't know like rose gold with a hint of green in it place that on the outer part of the lid and then go in, or maybe the inner part yeah let's place it on the inner part and then we'll go in with wings on the outer part we do have this gorgeous eyeshadow shader brush which i'm going to go ahead and take wings and just kind of place that on the outer part that is beautiful wow you guys seen this let me get closer Okay, so I went ahead and did the other eye. I'm gonna take the other side of the brush. I'm gonna take the color Lily, which I already showed you guys, and we're just gonna kind of do a gradient eyelid thing. I knew these were gonna blend well together because Lily has that green in it, so I knew it would like just mesh together. I almost wish I put the green on the inner part though, to be honest. I mean, I don't hate it, so I guess we're good. So I'm gonna go ahead and just blend out the edges and I am actually gonna take the SL Miss Glam Small Eye Blending Brush and I'm gonna take the color Liberty which is the olive green here and I'm going to just play with that on the outer part of the eye. That definitely is giving it the depth I was envisioning. I was a little scared to throw that olive on there because I wasn't sure if it was gonna look muddy with the other colors but looks like it's gonna blend i'm gonna do the same on the other eye i'm just going to build the green a little bit more and give the eye a cat eye effect with it I'm going over wings a little bit again and also lily just to kind of bring them back to life but this is a little look i came up with i'm just going to go in and do a little bit more blending and then we'll move on to the rest of the eye 
Okay, the next item that I found that was brand new, I found this at HEB. If you guys have an HEB, I don't know if it's like Texas only, but it's like a grocery store. They had this Wet n Wild kit. This is a Wet n Wild must haves for the eyes. It looks like this. Comes with their big Papa mascara that has a little crown on top. Looks like this. It came with an eyeliner which is their Wet n Wild Breakup Proof Waterproof Retractable Gel Eyeliner. And it came with a really cute rose gold eyelash curler. This is really cute, so love that. So we are going to take the eyeliner and I'm going to line my lash line with it and see how this baby works. To create kind of a faux wing, but nothing too crazy. So right off the bat, this isn't the most pigmented black eyeliner but i feel like it's buildable and it does have a little bit of tug it's not terrible for the price it was five dollars for that entire box i wasn't really expecting like a whole lot of these products to be honest so this is doing better than i even thought it would be i thought it was going to be one of those like eyeliners that didn't even like work if you know what i'm talking about like super waxy so i'm going to create a tiny little faux wing i'm going to bring it all the way in this it says it's waterproof so let's hope so because i have annoying inner corners like black always gets right here on my inner corners i don't know if you guys have that problem but i'd be looking like the grudge like two hours after i put my makeup on if i don't use the right products make my eyes look droopy and it makes me look tired and then it makes me look like i have a rbf like I seriously have a bad case of RBF whenever I wear a lot of eyeliner <laughs> like I just look I don't know like my my normal face expression looks mean I don't know why it does but it does but I swear to you it's just my face <laughs> I go ahead and try to tight line with this oh it does a good job at tight lining wow that's surprising considering the tugging that went on on top this might just not be like a lash line type of eyeliner this might be more like a waterline eyeliner like probably the moisture from waterline helps it glide a little bit better okay i'm going to take a little sigma pinpoint concealer brush i always use this to kind of smoke out stuff on the lash line i never use this for concealer like who even like i don't know i guess it could work but i always use this brush for the eyes not for concealer you know, I must say, for a nice, thin, simple wing, this is a, this is pretty legit. I like it. It does the job, and if it doesn't smudge in my inner corner, it's a win for me. I feel like Anastasia really hit just a lot of consumers with this palette. I feel like it's soft, it's easy, it's user-friendly. It's what we want nowadays, like all wanting a little bit of simplicity with our makeup after all the cut creases and full faces and crazy contouring that we've seen. I think we're all ready for a little break, and we're ready to look cute without doing too much. I don't know. That's how I feel. Eyeliner is done and I really like this. It's really cute and soft and I feel like it's very beginner friendly. So if you end up like a panda bear every time you try to do a wing with liquid eyeliner, maybe you should try this. Way easier, way simpler, less stress. Gotta, gotta regulate those hormones, girl. Don't stress over eyeliner. Just do this. So I am going to go ahead and try the eyelash curler and mascara before. I am going to wear lashes. I'll show you guys the lashes, but I really do want to try this out before we, um, you know, put on lashes. So that way you guys can see how the mascara works. This actually feels like a pretty nice eyelash curler. Oh, that did a really, really good job. I like to put mascara right after I curl my lashes. It's definitely combing through my lashes without clumping them, so that's good. That means we can go in with a couple of coats. I'm gonna let that dry. In the meantime, I'm gonna do this eye, and then we'll do a second coat on this eye. Do a second coat on my other eyes. Definitely adding a little bit of volume with the second coat, but it's not really lengthening too much more. Yeah, I feel like this is what you're gonna get right here. So you guys be the judge of it. This eye is always like the stepsister of the game. Like the eyebrow and the eyelash just they're stragglers okay they struggle for lashes we are going to be using some amazon lashes that i showed you guys in one of my recent hauls they look like this they're super super fluffy i've actually already used a pair of these on a client um because that's why one's missing but we're going to try them out on ourselves i have a little fan now 
It's doing things for me. I like it. It's really hot in here. It's 104 degrees outside today. So pretty. Those are so pretty. Wow. Link down below for these. So these are the lashes on and on first impression, these are giving me grocery store vibes. Like you can wear these anywhere vibes. They're just really natural. I feel like if I wasn't wearing any eye makeup, these would look really good, like just by themselves. And I like, I like it a lot. I think they're fluffy, they're fluttery, they're not too long. They're really pretty. I like them a lot. On and moving forward, I'm going to go ahead and prime my face. This is not a new primer. I'm just trying to use this up. This is a Too Faced a Primed and Poreless. Put this only on the T. I have dry skin, so my pores are only on my T zone, like literally just right here. Not even my T zone, just this area. A little on my chin. That's it. Get a new face product. This isn't new, like to the makeup world. This has been out, but this is new to me, and I've heard really really good things about this it is hot out here and i am really dry where i live for some reason all year round it gets worse in the winter but i'm just really dry all year round it's a little better right now that it's summer but usually i'm normal to dry but lately i've just been straight dry like not flaky but just like i can feel my skin tight from how dry it is dry the urban decay stay naked hydro maniac Tinted Glow Hydrator. I mean, it looks like this. Dot this all over my face how I would like a normal foundation or tinted moisturizer. Let's see, this this has some claims in the back. It's up to 24 hour hydration, 24 hour glow. It leaves a dewy, juicy finish. And it's a vegan formula. I'm not sure what the coverage of this claims to be. We're gonna try it. I'm gonna tell you what I think and then I'll look it up and I'll tell you what it says. I personally love the Chanel CC cream. That's my favorite like tinted, not tinted moisturizer because I feel like it does have a bit of coverage, but like as far as something that's like lighter coverage, the Chanel CC cream is my all-time favorite. I think I want to like venture out and find other things that kind of have similar coverage. But I don't even know what I did because I didn't have a mirror. <laughs> I'm going to take this SL Miss Glam Pro Foundation brush. This baby looks amazing. Like this looks like it's going to blend my makeup out in no time. By the way, the color I got in that is a light medium and it's a really good shade match. Really good. I matched myself in Ulta and then I went by like the windows to outside and like looked at it. But when things are like lighter coverage like this, it can be very, very forgiving. They don't have a huge shade range. Like they have a good shade range, but it's not huge. It's like light like medium, medium, like medium dark, dark, deep. I don't even know. I'll overlay it here somewhere. Yeah, this brush did really, really good. I feel like this is light coverage. You can see my moles through it. You can see everything, but it just kind of perfected my skin. Like it made it look like better, better skin. Color looks good. I'll let you guys be the judge of it. Go back a little so you guys can see how it matches with my neck and stuff. It looks good. Now I wanna see if this coverage builds and do a little bit more like in the T areas or like the areas where I just want a little more coverage. So we're going in blending that second layer. Oh, that did actually build a little bit. It covered my mole a little more. That's how I can tell. Beautiful on the skin. Wow, I hope it wears like this throughout the day. That's really, really pretty. My skin literally looks so healthy. Wow. I'm glowing, you guys. I am glowing. I like this coverage. It's kind of like medium now with the little extra I added. So let's find out what coverage this actually is supposed to be. It goes great with all skin types, even oily. It is non-comedogenic. It minimizes pores and imperfections with a smooth blurring effect while evening out skin tone and texture. I agree. It's a buildable medium coverage in between a tinted moisturizer and a foundation. Yeah pretty much describes it to be honest they did a good job with that description a little black is transferring in my inner corner <sighs> no i wonder if it's the mascara or the wet and wild eyeliner i don't know we're gonna have to test them out separately to find out it was just a little bit i'm just being very picky so guys i forgot my makeup bag 
It's okay though, I have my Too Faced Born This Way here, which I really like this concealer, so we're gonna use that. But lately, I've been so obsessed with the NYX Serum Concealer. I use the color Vanilla, and it is so beautiful. It looks so good with a full face. It looks so good when I just wanna cover my under eye circles, like with nothing else on. Love that NYX concealer. I'm gonna link it anyway, just because I think you should get it. I'm gonna use Too Faced for now. This is where I put my concealer lately. If you guys are wondering, it just gives a really lifting look to the face. Precision face brush. I'm gonna try to blend it with. I normally use a beauty blender for this part, but I really wanna try to use all the brushes. I'm just gonna... Oh, okay, this does a pretty job at blending. And I did it quick, too. Blend, blend until your arm falls off. This gives you cheekbones like really cute cheekbones it's like very lifting listen if i don't look like i'm heading to my sugar daddy's funeral i don't want it we gotta look snatched okay i like this brush a lot actually i don't usually like blending concealer with a brush because i feel like it takes away a lot of coverage but this did really really good i like that i can get really precise with this brush too i bring it up into the side of the nose too like this so our nose can also be snatched. Watching it like a TikTok and like this girl, it's like a hilarious sound. Well, it's like just her talking, but she's like, contour your nose until it disappears because men like needle noses. And I was like, pretty sure we don't care what men like, but it was hilarious. <laughs> I was laughing so hard. And then she said something about one time my man walked in on me while I was blending. And I had to tell him that I got, that I was playing with like cat shit on my face. I was just like, just so he wouldn't know that I'm actually a shapeshifter. <laughs> I was laughing so hard, like who says that? I'm going to go ahead and set that concealer. I'm gonna use my Huda Beauty powder in pound cake. I'm gonna take the excess to set here. Whatever's left over and just basically setting the rest of my face with it. I don't like to let this bake too long, okay? Because I have dry skin, so I like to just take it off really fast. So this is a fan powder brush from the SL Miss Glam set. This brush is amazing. This is probably the most unique brush in that set because I don't know any other set that has a brush like this. On my nose, I don't know if it's like the powder that I put with it, but it's like starting to look kind of like like it's piecing apart like i feel like i shouldn't have put powder on i don't know because i loved how it looked right before i did that no why <laughs> we're gonna try to salvage it a little bit i do have this new setting spray i was gonna wait till the end to show you but we're gonna use it now this is the morphe coconut bliss spray let me tell you guys you need this it smells amazing like their original setting spray mist is amazing and this one just smells like coconuts it's the best so I have already been using this, but this one is new to stores. Oh my gosh, that smells delicious. So I'm gonna go ahead and dry it with my little fan. Okay, that definitely brought things back to life a little bit. It looks way better. I am adding a little bit more foundation over top of that powder just because I didn't like that it kind of cracked a little bit. So we're just gonna put a little on top so we keep that glow and hydration going. There was a little spot here too. Sometimes there's just nothing that a good fixing spray or setting spray can't fix that's what i love about the morphe mist and like mac fix plus is you can really really save your face urban decay you you did something here for me i literally love how this looks it looks so poreless so blurred i'm just gonna give you guys a close-up like natural skin but better you know we went ahead and did my brows and underneath my eyes i just put mascara a little bit of cream liner in the waterline and a little bit of the lightest shade we put in the crease down there so go ahead and bronze the face so i did get a new bronzer from morphe this is the bronze show velvet matte pressed powder this is what the box looks like i got this in the color bronze vibes it just looked like a really good everyday bronzer here's what the packaging actually looks like it's like just this cardboard 
It doesn't have a mirror or anything. It looks like this. And when I felt this in the store, it just felt really soft in the color just looked really nice and really wearable because as i told you guys i've been trying to really make my makeup routine go a little quicker and a little bit more user friendly and just easier to do so that i don't take like hours and hours doing my face take an angled brush from that as almost glam said this is the angled contour brush to it a little bit just because i don't know how pigmented this is and i've been loving doing this technique where i just focus it right on the outer parts normally i would have done a cream bronzer i didn't want to do a cream bronzer just because i wanted you guys to see the full potential of this bronzer by itself that's a really really pretty color so this is legitimately doing exactly what i envisioned it wouldn't so satisfying to see it's just blending so easy and buttery and just it looks so nice by itself without having to even cream contour and that eliminates one step in my routine so kind of happy about that see if we can build it up like say for a night out you wanted it to be a little bit more contoured yep looks like it builds up pretty nicely as well i'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of my face in that three and e motion all around the face and let's get rid of that double chin girl you guys already know the drill i also like to kind of contour right here too i'm gonna go ahead and do some blush i'm very very excited for the blush because I got so many new blushes in PR from Benefit, you guys. Let me just show you this stack of blushes, okay? Look at how pretty they are, though. Like, this packaging is gorgeous. They have definitely slimmed down their packaging, which I love because I can never figure out how to store these in my makeup collection. They kind of sit on the side or inside of a different drawer because they just don't fit in my little compact slots that I have like you guys know like if you're familiar with my vanity tours and my vanity and makeup organization videos which i have a ton of on my channel so if you're new here you're gonna want to check those out peach in which has a cute little peach i'm gonna go through them really fast we have pom pom java moon packaging is my favorite this one's crystal my favorite sunny and D lion I do have two more these arrived shattered I mean, they're not really colors I would wear anyway. These are way too deep for my skin tone, but these did arrive broken and it's Butterfly and Terra right here. I'm gonna go with my favorite packaging. We're gonna do Crystal. This is a bit of a gamble because it's really, really bright. So I hope I don't ruin my look, but we're going to take a really small, and this is another thing I loved about this brush set. It has this smaller angled brush, and this is an angled blush, BG06 and it's just perfect for blush like to spot apply blush you don't mess up you know so you don't just get it all over your face which nowadays i think we kind of like it all over our face a little bit but this gives you a little bit more precision just a little bit oh yeah that's pigmented oh girl these are pigmented like that was a little tap okay we are blushed the house stuck between do i love it or does it look like i farted and like i don't want to tell anybody i don't know <laughs> like <laughs> i'm really confused like i i'm not like i love blush right now especially a cream blush but i'm confused right now i don't know if it's like the shade of the blush or what tell me what you guys think do you like it do you think it's cute like be honest with me is it too much is it too bright I don't know. Let me know down below. Put a thumbs up if you think it looks cute. Emoji, put a thumbs down if you think it looks horrible. Emoji, okay. Okay, I got some new products from Physicians Formula and these have been sitting in my drawer. been dying to try the palette, um, but it did come with this cutie little brush. I will probably throw this in my purse. It's just so cute. Butter Dream Team Face Palette and I'm super sad because the highlighter it's broken comes with a highlighter a bronzer two blushes two bronzers two blushes and a face powder not a fan of the face powder i tried it don't know why the highlighter sometimes like just makeup and pr sometimes arrives broken because male people are just not careful um so yeah i'm sad but we are gonna take the little crumbles and we're gonna put it on okay as highlighter because i do want to try it <laughs> i do wish it wasn't broken so this has a very rose gold hue to it it's a little glittery. I mean, it's not bad. I don't know that I love it, though. 
more glittery. I think that's kind of what's bothering me. Like it has like a slight rose gold glitter to it. Like it's not just a sheen. I really like just like a sheen. So I don't have a new lip liner. So we're just gonna use MAC Roll, but I do have two new lip glosses we're gonna try. I'm not gonna put any lipstick underneath them so you guys can see the true shade. I have a really, really baby pink one. These are both L'Oreal. I saw these at the end cap at H-E-B, they're new. And there's like a slightly darker pink and a lighter pink. I feel like this lighter pink's, uh, it has like a little glittery sheen to it. So I feel like this is gonna be more like a topper. So we're gonna go in with this one so we can use it kind of like as a full-on lip product. This is in the color 03 Pristine Pink. And then the lighter pink with the kind of glittery iridescence in it is called 20 Celestial Blossom. Guys, I almost went in and filled in my lips with this and then I realized we're testing out the new lip gloss, so I kind of stopped myself. But yeah, that's MAC World. Really pretty lip liner staple. So let's go in with the gloss. It smells like Starburst, which is nice. And it does have color to it. Let me get a little closer. It has a nice pink color to it. I like it. It's like a light mauve pink. This applicator is also super precise. They killed it with this applicator. I really like it. So it's not sticky. It glides really nice. It's really smooth. I do like this. I can't say I don't like it. I feel really glowy. I don't think I'm used to being this glowy, but it's also not a bad thing. I feel like it looks really healthy and good on my skin. It doesn't look like an oily glowy. It looks like a glowy, glowy. Am I making any sense right now? Sometimes I wonder why y'all watch my videos, you know? Like, geez, y'all are some troopers hearing me explain things like this. I don't even know what I'm talking about. I'm going to go in one more time with my Morphe Coconut Bliss. Just set everything in place. Let's try, shall we? I will link my little fan down below. It's only $10. There's no excuse why any of y'all should not have one of these, okay? Skin looks so smooth. I know what is the most impressive thing about my face right now is that normally I get this little crack right here and I have not gotten Botox, okay? In like a year now. So this crack is, is it's back. The crack is back, okay? Nobody likes crack, crack kills. And there's no crack. There's no crack with this foundation. Usually every foundation cracks right there. Like I had to really put powder on it. You guys saw, I literally put more foundation over that little bit of powder I even put on. No matter what I do, no crack. We need a backup, like three of these backup. You know what, we need one for when I'm 10, we need one. This is how I get when I find a foundation I really love. I'm like, we need a shade for when I'm 10, we need a backup for that shade, and then we need like three backups for my normal shade. Like, it's probably not a good thing. Anyway, I'm gonna get this headband off, come back, talk to you guys, give you guys a run through. All right guys, this is the finished makeup look. What do you guys think? I honestly am so obsessed with the products that I use. Like, I swear it's not the new camera. Like, this looks really good in person. I'm actually really, really shocked because I don't always have the best luck with face products. I do feel like I overall really like the products I tried. I feel like I still need to figure out the powdering concealer situation just because I just... I cannot not powder my concealer, it'll just really crease. So I'm definitely gonna work on that, see what powder works the best on top of this foundation or maybe just not put the foundation under my eyes and only do concealer. I don't know, we're gonna figure it out because I love the finish of the foundation so much that I do want to just like work with it and see what I can do. I just, I'm so impressed with how it literally sets into the skin and like, like it does not transfer like it's really impressive for how glowy that it looks you would think you would have to set it or something but i don't know guys makeup brands are just coming out with beautiful products nowadays i give it to urban decay for this one because i really loved it abh new palette can't remember the name of the palette i'm sorry but the abh new palette the sage palette we're gonna call it the sage palette okay love love the palette my eyes look glowy and not green and I, you know, you would think like it's a green palette, it's gonna look green, but it 
does not look green like that it looks really really flattering especially on my brown eyes like i feel really pretty today <laughs> like that's all i need to say i feel really pretty today i feel glowy i feel bombshell if that makes sense normally i can have a good makeup day and like do winged eyeliner and like my matte lip and stuff that i normally do but like that's not bombshell does that make sense it's more like sleek makeup and right now i feel like bombshell sexy pretty i pretty much really liked everything the only things i'm really unsure about is the wet and wild eyeliner i don't know that i'm gonna keep using it if it's not that user friendly you know what i mean i'm gonna probably throw it in my makeup bag and see if i reach for it we'll see if i reach for it let's leave it at that the benefit blushes whoa those pack of pigment not used to it from their previous blushes which i felt like were more subtle so that was surprising but that's not necessarily a bad thing the lip gloss feels amazing the l'oreal gloss literally amazing like they are so cute just to throw in your purse these look luxurious they make me feel how i feel when i put my little chanel gloss in my purse you know i just feel a little bougie these feel bougie like that and just the packaging is really pretty so i really like the gloss morphe bronzer i'm excited to use that again i have to admit like that was one of my favorite products this whole video was that bronzer i really am excited to keep using that one i not say enough good things about this coconut morphe like i already know i love the original morphe spray so this coconut one is just the cherry on top it smells so nice essel mist glam brushes i have tried pretty much every essel mist glam brush that there is and i have to admit this has to be her most whole complete most user-friendly most advanced brush set I feel like there was literally every single brush that I needed in that brush set. Literally nothing was missing, in my opinion. The Physicians Formula Palette, of course we only tried the highlighter, which is beautiful. I did try that face powder in there before, did not love it, it's gonna admit, did not love it. But it's only one thing I didn't love out of the other things that are in there that I still haven't tried, like the bronzer and the blushes, so we will have to try that in the future. I cannot give you feedback on that Butter Dream palette, but I can tell you the one in the pink packaging good to go that's a beautiful highlighting bronzing blushing palette i don't not like the big papa mascara from wet n wild i was gonna say big poppin yeah no big papa mascara from wet n wild i do not not like it i do not think it's anything really too special i feel like i just need to try it out more with a mascara i'm honestly the kind of girl who really needs to put it to the test for like a week and see like if it's gonna smudge see if like the formula gets different as i use it more and let's not forget the lancome moisturizer that thing's amazing like i cannot wait to keep using that honestly all right my loves that is everything for today's video if you made it all the way until the end I really want to see a palette emoji right here, like the little art palette emoji. Just leave it down in the comment section so that I know who you are and I can show you some love. All right, I think this video has been long enough, so I'm not going to keep you here any longer. I love you and I will see you in the next video. Bye.